Hello, everyone. Hello. So here we are, and it feels like it's been a minute since I've just done a video to kind of share spirit and what spirit wants to bring through. And I feel like this one is going to be kind of dedicated to light workers, star seeds, indigo children, um, anybody that really kind of is incarnated and just feels connection, right? Feels something more, feels like you know, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. So if you identify as a light worker, a star seed, indigo child, Blu-ray, like whatever, I don't think I even know like all the different terms, right? And I don't want to exclude anyone. So light worker, we're just going to go with light worker, right? So thank you for being here. And uh, in this video, I just want to talk about what we need to kind of be aware of, uh, what's going on with us. Uh, what uh, will help us to navigate these energies? Because uh, it's a lot right now with um, different planetary aspects, different retrogrades, um, Pluto, just lots of, um, you know, astrological shifts. And I'm not an astrologer, so please find an astrologer that you do um, trust, right? That really resonates with you. So hello, if you are new, I am Melissa L. Watkins, Evidential Medium and Integrated Energy Therapy Master Instructor Teacher. And so I am coming on to do this video today to kind of talk about what it is that can help you as a light worker in these energies. Um, and again, I would say this video um, is going to be very beneficial for whenever you find it. So whatever the planetary alignments or the energies are of when this um, video finds you, right? So the intention that I always set is who needs me finds me. And I feel like with these videos too, it's like whoever needs these videos will find them, right? So I don't want you to feel like you're in the wrong place or it's the wrong time or you're not seeing it when I made it or maybe you're seeing it like as soon as I made it, right? You will see it when it is the right time for you. And that's really, really what's important. As an it so as an intuitive card reader, um, I'm not uh, a formally trained um rider weight tarot reader, right? I'm an intuitive tarot reader. And it's really interesting to me as I was kind of pulling cards for this and you know where spirit wanted to take us. I was actually drawn um to use Radley Valentine's uh newest deck, um the Guardian Angel uh messages tarot. So um I'm gonna be using that deck to kind of um inform the reading. Um, and I feel it's like a, a softer, gentler deck, right? Letting the angels come in. So I'm actually going to um, start with um, an overarching or a couple of overarching uh, messages or energies from the Star Codes Astro Oracle by Heather Roan Robbins. Um, so let's go ahead and just see what wants to come out as like overarching themes or energies uh, that are really going to affect us as uh, these alignments play out. Okay, and the first one went literally flying. Oh, I got a few of them. A couple. Oh, two. We got two. Okay. Um, so the first one that came flying out was the South Node, past, and the Fifth House. Look at this pretty card, passion, right? Let's see if it'll, there it goes, there it goes. Um, yeah, I really feel like the past, right, has been keeping you from your passion. So I feel like this is the energy that is opening up, freeing you to take you to whatever is your passion, right? Whether that is your, um, your job, your purpose, um, your awakening. Maybe it's starting to share your spiritual gifts. Maybe it's starting to do some energy healing work. Maybe it's um, letting go of those old relationships that don't serve you. Um, I was kind of giving uh, or getting the um, idea or message of, of um, someone walking away, right? that you need to put something in your past or something in your past needs to stay there because it's keeping you from um, embodying your passion, that passion that um, you, 
you've been quietly, quietly uh, dipping into it. You've been quietly bringing it forth. I feel for some of you, it's a passion that may have been shut down a long time ago, or um, you weren't allowed to you weren't allowed to be creative or you weren't allowed to um, step outside of the the norm, right? Whether that's family or societal, right? Whatever that expectation was. And I feel like in this energy right now, that's what you're being guided to do. It's like step out of the norm, step into what has been quietly building in your own um, awareness, in your heart, in your mind, right? Um, in your sacral chakra, that creativity that wants to birth, birth forth. Um, and I feel like it's been quietly, steadily building, quietly, steadily coming into your awareness um, or re-coming into your awareness, right? For some of you, it's like, I've always known I wanted to do that or I always know I wanted to create that, but I always you know, I, I put it behind me. I put it in my past, right? Maybe for some of you, you tried something once. Um, you tried to be the drawer, the uh, the writer, or the um, inspirer, or the speaker, or whatever, right? Um, and it, it it didn't take off, or it didn't really work out. And I feel like it's time to like get back into the resurgence of whatever that passion is. And that's what this energy um, is bringing you. Honestly, that's what this energy is bringing you. Um, before we go into more of digging into that, um, I want to pull um, some Ask Angel Oracle cards just to see uh, what angels want to come in or uh, what they want to bring to help you bring forth the passion, whatever that passion is for you. Oh, look at this. Forgiveness. Yeah. Archangel Zadkiel. Yeah. For some of you, you have to really lean into the idea of forgiveness, um, which is releasing, right? Releasing an old story, releasing the past, releasing uh, whoever did you dirty, whatever happened. Um, this forgiveness is about you letting go of something. And Archangel Zadkiel is coming in to support that because it's time. It's time to not let that past hold you back. And so for some of you, it's forgiving the the um, the parent, right? Doing the inner child uh, healing. Uh, for some of you, it is uh, the, the past lover, right? Um, the longstanding relationship that didn't work out or the relationship that you really thought was going to work out and it didn't. Um, so to help you do that, to help you release and to forgive, Focus on your breathing, center your energy, and allow a new level of love, joy, and light to enter into your life. Allow what is and what will be to become infused with divine love. Forgiving is not always easy, but it will enable you to lift your vibration and to remember the experience, the full light of the spiritual being that you, you are. Forgiveness now will pave the way for many blessings to come. And this is really important, again, by holding on to that old, you're only keeping you from moving forward. I know forgiveness can be, for some of us, a really hard concept to wrap our heads around, but I really like the way that she, um, being Melanie Buckler, um, really kind of gives us that way to help us release what we need to release because as light workers, we've been through some stuff. As light workers, we to to remember who we are. We've been through trauma, we've been through abuse, we've been through neglect. You know, there's been some stuff, right? And so I feel like in these energies it's like coming up because it's time to purge it, it's time to let it go. And we can't necessarily do that, right? If we're not like actively letting it go. And so um, I would listen to that as often as you need or as much as you need to be able to really work on letting whatever you need to go to let it go. All right. So um, let's now dig in. 
uh, and see what spirit wants to add. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. So we got a couple of major arcana cards. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. So the first one that came out is look at this, the nine of earth. Look at that. Contentment, luxury, independence. Because it's time. This is what the forgiveness is going to bring you. This ability to get into abundance. This ability to be content with wherever you are at this moment. But if you're someone that's harboring still that trauma, that guilt, that shame, the neglect, <clears throat> whatever it is, right? You can't get to this. And this is where spirit wants to bring you because it's time for renewal. It's time for contentment. It's time for you to have what you desire and to it to come in through grace and ease, not to keep fighting and striving and driving. You know, striving and driving is the blocking, believe it or not. You know, the striving and driving is like the societal norm of like, this is how you get what you're supposed or what you want, right? And it, it's really not. You might get it to some extent, but not to this extent, right? To the luxury, to the desire, right? And that's what spirit wants you to get into this energy. But we have to allow whatever wants to come in for your experience, right? And for each and every one of you, it's different. For some of you, you're, you really want that creative outlet. For some of you, you really want that relationship, right? For some of you, you want that new situation. For some of you, you just want to feel peace. You want, just want to feel peace. And you can have it. Because it is time for renewal. It is time for reflection, self-evaluation, and rebirth. So that is how spirit is bringing you into this time of abundance and desire and pleasure and luxury. And it's like not just a little manifestation, it's a lot of manifestation, right? But if you're harboring lower frequencies, if you're harboring resentment, if you're harboring grief, if you're harboring all of the ways in which that, you know, have been keeping you low, have been keeping you down, then no, you can't get to the luxury. And this energy really is bringing you in community, reasons to celebrate, right? And it's through this rebirth that you will get those reasons to celebrate. It's through this rebirth that now you have the tribe, right? And this is all about your evolution. You're evolving into this new version of you, right? The light worker, the star seed, the blu ray, the indigo child, right? Really stepping into your authenticity because now you're kind of letting go of that 3D mask that is that humanness of the, you know, those heavier energies. The energy of betrayal, the energy of abandonment, the energy of resentment, the energy of anger, right? The energy of unworthiness. And it's it's you working and letting go of those, uh, whatever caused it, whoever betrayed you, whoever abandoned you, whoever, you know, you're resenting, right? Because you're forgiving it, you're releasing it, you're letting it go. Not because they need to get let off the hook. Mm, no, not about them. It's about you. It's about you so that you can come into community, so that you can come into your bounty, your success, your recognition, your enthusiasm. So look at that. The sun is coming out. That's what this energy is bringing you. The ability to be enthusiastic about your life, the ability to Feel, see, and know your life in a way that maybe you've never been able to before, right? Because you've been so bogged down with the stuff that you couldn't let go of. And I feel like in these energies, you're going to get some help in that release, in that forgiveness. For some of you, it's almost like an aha moment of like, I, I, I don't care. I don't care anymore. I'm done caring about that. That situation, that person, I'm done. I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. 
So the six of earth is coming in because this is clarity, generosity, windfall, charity. I'm sorry, not clarity, charity. But yeah, this is why, because it's time for you to have a windfall. It's time for you to have the blessings. It's time for the sun to come out and shine in your life. It's time for you to have what it is that you deserve. And it's through that hard work of releasing. It's through that hard work of letting go. It's through that hard work of not holding on to it anymore. Forgiving is not always easy but it will enable you to lift your vibration and to remember and experience the full light of the spiritual being that you are. Yeah, it's time. It's time. The past is gone. So whatever's coming up that you're harboring from the past, right? If it's a thought, you have to learn how to change the thought. You have to just basically not think the thought. Like you see the thought come up, but you're not going to think, you're not going to, you're not going to stay with it. You know, and for many of us, we let our, th our, our thoughts or our monkey mind, right, drive the train. And if you can really sit down and say, I'm not letting my thoughts be, right, the ruler of my emotions. I'm not going to think about the past, the hurt, the grief, the resentment, the betrayal. And all the things, right, that hold me back. I'm going to focus on where I'm going. I'm going to focus on the passion. I'm going to focus on the passion. So I just want to take a look at card number 43 for those of you who maybe are resonating with that number. Um, and four and three is also a seven, right? So um, this also is the fifth house, if you noticed. Um, so the fifth house also speaks of the children of the heart, of the arts and of the body, the desire for a child, a love affair, the first stirrings of a book or sculpture, or the first notes of a song, or the sparks for this creation. The fifth house asks you to, ta to take a risk, and you may need to invest in materials and be disciplined to manifest your dreams. So the challenge with this card is to bring your inner adolescent out to play but watch that it doesn't get stuck in a self-centered place, swept up in the thrill of creation and damn the consequences, right? The gift of this card is to let your light shine. Let it be a gift to all the world. Your instructions are to play, create, love, inspire, and be glorious. And again, that can be really, really difficult if you're not light, lightening your load, right? Uh, raising your frequency, right? Letting all of the old junk, the gunk, uh, the despair, the fear, right? Any fear-based emotion. Um, yeah. Forgive it. Release it and let it go. All right. So I did pull out um, the dragon cards by... Um, Diana Cooper, because um, I was actually um, lighting my incense and the one that I was drawn to was dragon's blood. And I thought, okay, this uh, energy is going to have a lot to do with the fire element. And then we got the sun card, right? Um, so I was, when I saw the sun card, I was like, not surprised. Because I do feel like there's a lot of fire energy in this uh, reading. So for those of you, um, you know, if you have a fire sign in, in, we all have a fire sign in our natal chart somewhere, right? So wherever that fire sign in your natal chart um, happens to be, um, that's where you kind of want to look at, you know, what's changing or even what needs to be forgived. Um, wow, that dragon came out fast. So um, Leo, Sagittarius, and... I'm um, trying to think of the other fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, and... Hmm. Okay. Somebody drop it in the comments because I know, I know it, but it's not going to come to me right now. Um, hold on. Aries. <laughs> Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Yeah, I should have... Like I said, I knew that. Okay. 
So yes, wherever those signs uh, fall in your chart, uh, definitely take a look at. But we got the orange gold dragon from Arcturus. Opens you to knowledge for the new golden age. Carry the energy of the future. Be a guiding light. As a light worker, that has been your mission and your some part of your purpose your whole life, right? And for some of you, you're just stepping into this. For some of you, you're just learning this. For some of you, you're like, uh-huh. Yep. Yep. I have. And it's been hard. It's not been fun. Right. But that's why I wanted, I think I was drawn to do this reading because I feel like for all of us light workers, wherever you fall on, you know, however you um, resonate with that word or label. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's time. It's time to really um, embody who you came here to be remember who you are and raise your frequency. And so the uh, orange gold dragon from Arcturus is coming in, opens you to knowledge for the new golden age. Let's see if I can get that to focus a little better. Carry the energy of the future, be a guiding light. Arcturus is one of the most advanced star systems in this galaxy and a prototype of Earth's future. Awesome, Seventh dimensional orange gold dragons from Arcturus come to us when we are ready to become a walking master and help to usher in the new golden age. When a spiritual army of these dragons moves to a place, they stimulate great evolutionary change in all that they touch. They are following, flowing into earth now to help us during the exciting years ahead. Yeah. It is not by chance you have incarnated during this extraordinary, extraordinary, 20 year period when our planet is undergoing a double dimensional shift. Earth needs spiritual leaders and light bearers. These dragons are blazing their light towards you, for it holds the vision of our fifth dimensional future. They are inspiring you to do your part for the new golden age on Earth. Receiving this card indicates that it is time to stand in your power and fulfill your destiny. Allow the orange gold, orange gold dragons from Arcturus to enter your energy field and breathe into you the vision of Earth as it will be. They will give you the strength, wisdom, and knowledge that you will need for the transformation ahead. You have much to do and many people to help, and a beautiful seventh dimensional orange gold dragon from Arcturus will stay by your side as long as you need it. Be a guiding beacon to light the way for many. So there it is. So your mission has been big. Your purpose has been needed and you are stepping into it. So wherever you're stepping into it on that journey, whether it's just beginning, you're kind of somewhere in the middle, or you really feel like you've been in it for a while. This message is just to help you kind of go to the next level, to the next um, situation, phase, shift, cycle. Yeah. All right. So um, I want to get some of these uh, advice, see what the advice wants to be to help us. Oh, and I got three. Thought I'd get one. I got three. Awareness in the third eye. Your third eye is opening. Look within. Allow your inner visions. Yeah. Yeah. So um, be aware. Be aware. And if, if you're seeing this message, I feel like you already have a sense that your third eye has been either um, opening or opening more or really, really developing. So uh, lean into that. Lean into that experience. Lean into those messages. Lean into that information. Um, and just know that it's going to continue. Um, oh, it's four cards. Once it's open, right? Once it's open, it just keeps getting brighter and better. Yeah, the light codes. Uh, tune into the light. Remember your truth. Initiation. Yeah. For many of you, you've been getting light code downloads and you've really been feeling it. You've really been feeling it. And um, some of it has to do with the Schumann resonance going on. Uh, some of it has to do with your own energy healing. But um, just know that um, if you feel like you're seeing certain light codes or colors, you're being drawn to wear certain colors, you're being gravitating towards colors. Um, yeah, just know that that's kind of an indication from spirit of the light code that you've been receiving. And the light codes, it all mean something different. And you can, you can definitely look them up. Um, but you know, the one right now that I feel like is coming in for the most of us, um, and coming in a lot, right. Really, really shifting us is, uh, Christ consciousness, the gold. So, um, just know that, um, yeah, 
We just know that it's it's coming in. So use your discernment, see the truth, be guided, trust your inner knowing. Yeah, discernment is really important because you are going to be getting a lot of, um, oh, I just heard the word shapeshifters. So yeah, a lot of um, people coming into your experience that are not what they seem. And so it's uh, discernment is a frequency. And if you're in the frequency of discernment where you're really being able to see, feel, hear, and know what is true and what is not true, um, that it's a high vibrational frequency. And so just know that you are raising your frequency if you really do feel like you are, are, are really stepping into discerning very, very well what situations are, what people are. Um, and if you're just stepping into this, um, it's okay. Uh, take your time, practice it, practice discernment, um, trust where you're being guided to trust and uh, walk away from where you're being guided to walk away. Even if you're not sure, um, it's better to kind of err on the side of caution. Um, and again, be just be discerning. Um, and so if you're really being called to walk um, a path, that's not your normal path. And, you know, I would say that would be the way to go. And wild child, embrace playfulness and innocence, time for inner child healing. Yeah, I felt that right at the get go of this reading. Yeah, that, so many of you are being brought to heal your inner child in this frequency because it's time. And that's why the forgiveness came in, because it's time. It's time to forgive. It's time to uh, embrace your inner child. That it's not about, um, again, it's the forgiveness is not about letting your parents off the hook. But it's about seeing your parents from that lens of this is what they taught me. This is what this brought me. Um, this is what I needed to heal through to move into my authenticity. And that's what I really feel like our inner child healing healing is doing. It's not about the relationship with your parents. It's about the relationship with self and seeing how whatever they brought you has helped to inform you. And now it's time to release that because it's time to get into who you are and why you came here. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it right there, guys. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you want any um, more information about me, go into the description box and check out uh, my link to my website and to my other social media accounts. But um, yes, if you want a reading with me or if you want an energy healing session with me, check out guidance311.com. All right. Have a beautiful rest of your day or when you're seeing this, your night. And um, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. Please like and subscribe. Awesome. Bye guys. Till next time. See you soon.